Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we are up early. It is 6.05. We have an on-site down in North Carolina, and we're getting ready to head down there. And, you know, it's nothing different about this on-site, but the mode of transportation is a little bit different. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And here we go. The Tesla Model Y Long Range. We're going to be putting it through its paces on typical business trips um, but this is the exact one we have reserved and um, let's get loaded up and get on the road and we'll go take you on a tour of what else we can do with this thing all right folks so we got here um, safe and sound we are here at um, New Hope Greenville Missionary Baptist Church um, I'm here early I'm gonna take a, a slight little nap here but um, I'm going to get some footage here with the drone um, for the video here. But lo lo loving loving getting down here in the future. <laughs> anyway, let me wait for everybody to get here. We're going to do an on-site, see what we can do to help them out and modernize their media ministry. Let's actually cut over to some nice aerial um, video, shall we? Alrighty, folks so you know how we do we're here to try and um, fix a uh, install that um, I guess they were concerned about it uh, some parts were missing so we're gonna do a lot of reverse engineering to find out what was missing or complete what was done so let me take you on a talking through talking tour and walk talk through if I can spit it out because again this is mainly for me and we're gonna get in front of the computer and then do the design of here so let me turn you around all right, so the first thing is, Pastor just said he wants to have like a stage display over here. So in that wall, we can throw a 70 up there. So we'll put that here. They have some data video cameras right now. One, two, three, four in the baptismal area. We're going to see if we can reuse those, mainly if they are able to be powered over PoE. So we don't have to worry about that. You see their HDMI connections, but I don't see a linkage on how the joystick would get back to that. So um, we're going to see about that. They have a total of six TVs. Pastor wants in here just pre presentation. They're looking at doing Pro Presenter, so we're going to do a custom system for that. This is going to mimic the entire sanctuary, so that will be fine. Now, inside of here, in their dedicated media area, they're gutting a lot of stuff in here. This is some of the old equipment. Possibly be able to use this. My recommendation is they're going to get rid of this tower, get another tower, maybe a 15U. They can sit lower in the ground and just put a countertop in an L shape here to give a work area for um, cameras, everything. And then the system, they have an X32. It needs to be updated to the latest firmware because it's on 2.12. He wants me to completely reprogram this from ground zero. So we're going to do that. Don't really have to replace any of the sound stuff. So that's good. Um, they have a TriCaster, but they've been using the ATEM Mini Pro in the Fellowship Hall. And that's what they want to move to. So we're going to do away with this, get an A10 Mini Extreme because they already have HDMI cables going to all the cameras. And like I said, we're going to do a custom um, Pro Presenter system that can support um, multiple display outs. Get a rack mounted switch and if it supports PoE, we'll do that. So the joystick 
cameras and everything can talk from there. And it's mainly just going back and verifying that everything is working the way that they want it to be. Um, reprogram the sound areas and everything like that. And they have a television in pastor's office, in the fellowship hall, and in the annex. So a total of six, um, six televisions. Now looking at it in the front, I have a zoom in picture of it. It looks like they had, whoever set this up, they put it in different areas. And my mindset is if you have a media room, put everything there. So it looks like they have an HDMI splitter behind the TV in the front of the sanctuary, which I don't like. Because um, if you have a problem, you got to make sure somebody knows where that is. So we're going to put that back here. Maybe get two one by eights. The other thing is they don't have speakers in the other area. So the audio and video is going to be coming from a TV. So we're perfectly fine with that. So again, we have one, two TVs there, three, four the new one, but that's going to be a stage display, so that's going to come from Proper Center, Pastor's Office, Fellowship Hall, and I believe, so it's a total of seven TVs, so um, I think we would be good, so um, let me talk to Pastor, see if there's anything else that's needed, and then also we're going to thoroughly train the folks, because um, that seems been one of the consistent things I've been running into for the last few years. There's a bunch of companies who install this stuff. Very few are training them on how to use the stuff. So we're going to make sure we get that done so that they feel empowered, that they know how to do it. And you know my mindset. I want to train them and get the stuff in place so they don't have to call me back unless they want to add on. They don't call me back to fix. They call me back to add on. So let me talk with him. And then we're going to get back in front of the computer, do the design, everything, because my mindset is I'm going in as if this was brand new. And I'm doing everything from scratch. And then that way we set the bar high. And we're just going to put everything in escrow and then only get what we need. And then whatever is left, we refund back to the ministry. And we go from there. So let's get in front of the computer and let's go ahead and design this system. All right, folks. So I'm actually in a hotel but because <laughs> I was tired from driving. But let's go ahead and design um, this layout. Because, again, the pastor wanted me to just draw up everything as if... Uh, nothing was ever done. So let's go ahead and cut over and let's go ahead and design this thing. All right, so we're here in Draw IO, and we have to remember it's six, six, <laughs> six televisions. So let's start with that. And the mindset is we want to have everything centralized so that everything is in that media booth area so we don't have to worry about running everything all over the place. But I will do a centralized... Um, secondary splitter for future growth. So we got the two monitors inside the sanctuary, one in the back, then one in the entrance, there's four, then we got one in the fellowship hall, one in an overflow, and I think another one in the future was going to be in pastor's office. All right, so those are our televisions. Now, they already have cameras, so hopefully I don't need to replace those. So we're just going to use those. So it's one in the baptismal area. So like one right there. One on either side. And then one in the back. And actually this TV is going to be over to the side. There. Alright. So they already have a X32. We have to do an update on that. So that is an X32. We're going to recalibrate all of their sound. They want to do away with the TriCaster, so they're going to do an ATEM um, Mini Extreme. And it seems like there was a mixture of connections going back and forth. Some of the cameras were SDI, some were um, HDMI. So this is what I'm going to do for that. If I was doing that, everything would be HDMI. We're going to do a PoE switch, 
because I believe the switch that's back there is an older one. Um, and we could leverage controlling all this stuff without having to do it the way it was. So let me put it right here. So we're going to connect the X32. So it can be controlled. The ATEM, obviously, because that is what's going to be doing the streaming. We're going to connect all of the cameras. And I believe there is Ethernet going to all of these. But it would save us because now when we power everything on and off, everything is going to be done from the media booth instead of leaving the cameras on or having them on a switch and all that other cool stuff. I'll say cool, even though I wouldn't have done that. All right, so we need a joystick. We're going to do a POE switch as well, too. Hopefully, the cameras can be controlled from um, over IP. If they don't, then we're going to upgrade to a different set of cam um, cameras. Because they're already using the ATEM in the fellowship hall. So the skill set, we want it to be exactly the same. So when somebody is in a fellowship hall, you know, the skill set that was used for that is not going to go away. All right, we got that. We need another monitor, which I forgot they have in the back is for the multi-view. And I should have switched these around because of their placement and it actually makes it easier to draw it this way. There. There. We're going to connect the X32 to the ATEM over a dual um, XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. We have one HDMI out number one. It's going to be for the multi-view. And I want this to be on this side. All right. Then we're going to have a SDI splitter that's going to reside in the back. Not SDI splitter, HDMI splitter, excuse me. All right. So the second output is going to feed into that. And like I said, Pastor wanted me to consider as if I was doing this from scratch. So what I would do is run fiber to everything. Now that's the back TVs. Like this. Actually, let me take that back. I'm not going to do this. We're going to have that go to a splitter that's in the back so that if any other future TVs, they just have to run from the one that's in the hallway instead of running cables all the way over here. So we'll have cable go from here to that TV. And put these up here so you can see where they're going. And it'll be a one by eight on both. Something like that. And then this other splitter is going to run to just this back TV here in the back of the sanctuary. Because um, the pastor said he wanted the TVs to actually only show the presentation and not everything else. All right. So what we're going to do is also build them a computer for ProPresenter. So this will be um, running out of space here. This will be our pre. Uh, I'll just do it. ProPresenter PC. And we're going to make sure that this has multiple outputs, most likely. Um, I'm actually going to do two of the mini monitors to make it easier. Um, 
Or it, it well, actually, it all depends. If with the new mini monitors, if they're available, they go for one hundred and thirty dollars. So that's two thirty. Um, is whether it's it's cheaper to get a graphics card that has multi, at least five outputs, or use a um, fifty six hundred G that has um, built in graphics and then add two mini monitors. It all depends um, because then we could run one would be a dedicated connection. For the stage display and then the other one would be a split that would feed both of these both of these TVs so I would really like to do um, a graphics card that can support that then I can just do, you know, do a fiber HDMI cable here directly to each TV. So sanctuary left, sanctuary right. All right. Then all of our cameras, again, the cables are going back there. I need to test them. It looks like they're already done. But if we were doing it all over, we would just run fiber HDMI to each one move this up out of the way because we're starting to have a, a spaghetti party of cables here. Let's see if I can get them all to go down the same path to make it easier. So these are all fiber HDMI cables. Let's push this one up. This one up so all of our paths are clean. So that'll be fiber. Oh. Fiber. Man, why am I getting spell right? I'm on my laptop, so fiber HDMI. Off of all of that, so all of the cables will be fiber. I'm um, there. So we got everything going here. Um, and then we also need, so we have one, two, three, four outputs because the other one would go directly to the ATEM here so that everybody on a live stream can see what's coming through. And then in ProPresenter, we would feed this to be lower third you know what I, I think i might go with just a graphics card that can have that out because what i could do is just run this and then put a splitter that was split to both here. well we'll figure that out i'll probably put a splitter back here so we'd have a just a simple maybe a one by two or something like here actually no i would do a one by four so i'll be a hmi splitter one by four because how that would work and I hate when it does this delete all of this so we're gonna have our HDMI output from the PC come here because this feed is gonna be exactly the same all right so that's gonna give us one connection to sanctuary monitor left Number two is going to Sanctuary Monitor right. Number four is going to go to the ATEM because all of these are going to be the full screen. So that's why that works for this. All right, and then let me delete this. So we got three outs. We got one left over. Um, so most likely, I would add another monitor here, and that would give us that output for this. So we can have another on, so they can actually see it right there in front of them. Um, but we'll see. But then we would have one more connection, which will most likely be a mini monitor connection, um, or we could do. 
one, two, three. Yeah, we only need three outputs. So the third one would go to the ATEM as another display, but it would be configured in a lower third format, similar to what we do at Signs and Wonders, so that that will always be in a lower third for the live stream. And then we would go to this other input if it's like a full output or something like that that wants to be displayed to the live stream. So that's how I would do that. We don't have to worry about sound in the other areas because um, that's how they said that's already been taken care of. The sound is going to be coming from the TV. So we don't have to worry about that. So that is how I would do that. Um, link is going to be down below to everything we use on that. And you know we're going to bring you along if they um, we get the contract to um, get their sanctuary done. They said they want to move and do this by August. That's going to be pretty tight, but they said they'd like to get it at least before October. So I think we can do something like that. So I think I already mentioned it, but link is down below to everything for that. And that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We will catch you on the next video. Later.